I got um I got a delivery. I have a delivery on the way, so this will be a quick, quick stream. Shoot. <laughs> Crap, man. Everything's all over the place. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to go over fire reading columns. Uh, I get questions about that. So there's a few different examples here. Um, I am actually going to be putting out a video. I recorded how I laid these two columns out. And, oh, and of course... Excuse me. So how I laid these two columns out, I, ha I actually recorded the whole thing uh, to get them as tight as you possibly can to the uh, iron. Okay, so they're as, they're as small as possible. The Hey, Konaman, good morning, my man. Um, I will be adding a layer of drywall to this. Uh, I, I got new drawings, so these will be... Hey, Sammy, how's it going, guys? Uh, so these will be double layer now, so I got to add another layer. But um, yeah, I got, I already recorded how, hey, Amos, how the freak are you, buddy? Ha, Merry Christmas, bud. Happy holidays to you. Hey, Lamb. How the, how the freak are you, man? Good to see you. So we're working on the patching as well here. Um, I'm going to be um, fire rating this column as well. Basically, um, I, you're gonna get as tight to get as tight as you uh, can, and you and you also kind of want to keep them like the same size. You don't want a whole bunch of columns that are different sizes. So you gotta you want to check um, your 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 different kinds of columns and measure. So I might keep the same width here and carry it because it's straight in line. And I and that well I won't I will carry the same width. These ones are smaller columns but I'm still gonna this was the tightest design that I could get around these stand-up ones right so you just kind of work that out with your laser and, and and everything and check things man it's been a minute buddy yeah dude that's awesome to see you man I'm so I'm so glad to see you um uh, but yeah, you can see here this is kind of what the column looked like underneath they, they actually attached these are the older columns, and they put new ones in, and they have put these big funky plates in, right? Um, hey, Dan Courier is here. Good to see you, Creator Fundamentals. How is my good? How's my man? Very good to see you. Good to be good to see you, buddy. Um, and Merry Christmas to you. Happy holidays, my man. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I am recording this. I, I will be putting videos together on how I lay it out. But you can see, I'll, I'll do a layout on the ground. And then I'm, and I'm going to shoot with my laser and make sure like the line laser, right, doesn't hit any of the iron um, on the way up. And if it does, I can just move out my line, which I actually had to in this case here, right, because my original layout, it was too tight. And it, it, it clipped one of the iron, one of the pieces of one of the plates up there. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, because this will separate uh, two different tenants, right? So this is one tenant, tenant A, and this is tenant B. We'll say the fire reading, the insulation has to carry through. Okay, so I I had to do a patch in here and replace insulation, and I have I I recorded this whole thing, so it'll be nice. Uh, we want to leave this section open. Till the end just so we have easy access between the two units but uh, we're gonna end up closing the rest of it off right good stuff man it's really good to see you mr. Uh, courier good to see you buddy jeepers um, but yeah so these beams will be getting sprayed with cellular fiber and you can see up here this beam here is already fit like this drywall finished into this one up there already so all I do is stuff what I could with insulation and I patched the the broken drywall in yeah so the insulation is is continuous but um yeah so simple kind of kind of simple i think um uh uh there's a lot of patchwork in here <laughs> like a lot of little details man yeah i had a good couple of days off um i'm going to i'm going to take um i'm going to take some time off here pretty soon uh, I think probably I'm going to try to get a week, a week straight off, and then I'll come back for a bit, and then I'm going to take a week off again, right? So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, so basically what, what, what the, the column, columns are, are on, 
uh, pile caps, right? So the you can see like this diamond shape there. The the concrete in the pile cap is going to be like 35 MPa as opposed to the slab here, which would be like 30 MPa. So you you can't really shoot anything into that, right? You gotta you gotta use uh, smack pins, drill and smack pin your track down. But I like to keep it nice and centered as as best possible to the to the to the layout to the grid lines, like the uh, expansion joint. Sorry. And then what I'll do is I'm going to line it up to that other side as well to make it look not make it look nice, right? Um, but yeah, it's like, kind of like that, right? <laughs> I, I got like like I'm saying like there's a lot of like you know checking and stuff but I, I'm gonna put a video together from with all the stuff I recorded and um, yeah man uh, this is like the back framing style where I put the steel as tight as I can and I only use angle um, so when the drywall goes on then I yeah 100% Amos my goodness man buddy hey man good to see you dude good to see you. Hey, Zementally, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Man, I'm really happy to see you, Amos. That's good to see you. I'm glad. Thanks for popping in. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to go through this. I, I have a, a delivery coming here right away, so I, I can't, I gotta, I'll have to go when that comes. But if anyone has any questions about columns or whatnot, let, let me know right now. Ah, Samsung watches. Nice, dude. Nice. Um, but yeah, so anyways, so yeah. anyways, the pile caps, uh, they're, they're on top of piles, which are the, what they, you know, like they come in with a piling rig and they drill a hole and they'll pour concrete and, uh, put the iron in or, um, for the, to connect your columns and stuff too. There's also like friction piles that like where they, where they hammer in like, uh, I beams in deep into the ground. They go like, uh, up to like, well, they can go up to whatever, but on average, like, um, even for a light light pole outside, you, they go down three and a half meters. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I framed it out with angle. This is with heavy gauge angle, the uh, inch and a half by inch and a half stuff. I framed it all with this. So uh, I I hammer drilled and pinned it down along the bottom all the way around. Okay. And then I, I was able to shoot a couple pieces of angle up here, okay? One on this side, one on the other. Um, on the other column here, I actually even shot a third piece up at the top on this side. You just can't see it, but it's on the inside at the top there because I didn't recognize it on that side. Um, but on this side, I was able to get another piece shot in. So this one's super strong. Uh, that one, other one's perfectly strong too. But then, anyways, I put the I put this piece of drywall on and I laser it in, and then I put this piece of drywall in and I laser it in. I cut my drywall for the faces here a, a half inch shorter than like a half inch smaller than the actual width because you keep your corners a quarter inch back for your corner bead. Okay, quarter inch for your corner bead. Um, and then when I put these babies on, I'm also lasering this side, okay, and this side even to um, make sure that it's not going to come in and out while I'm screwing it off. But once this piece is in, you put, you screw angle. You screw angle on here and you screw angle all the way around for the corners. And then you put these bad boys on, right? And when you're putting these ones on, you're going to laser up this, this corner here, okay, coming this way. Right, not the actual drywall piece itself. You don't laser in. You want this to be straight, okay? But uh, yeah, guys, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, a couple of different uh, column layouts here, right? And then they got this funky thing. I'll show you guys that after. You'll see that at some point too um, when I get this done. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish to here with the bevel pointing this way, okay? Uh, so that I can put a 48, whatever, but then um, this column will be completed, right? Um, but yeah, you'll see that on my next live stream. The wall upstairs, uh, the stud won't come for like till next week. So um, I'm not going to be uh, live streaming that today. That's why I'm doing the, the columns. So uh, what else? Oh, yeah. These ones aren't in the contract, these columns, but... Um, I can see them being added. Like I can see us finishing this drywall and them adding this one in. Uh, these kind here, you'll just build 
even further, you'll just come right out the wall, right? you just come right out the wall. Um, there's a corner one right there that Lamb did, right? And we, miss, we get up to the beams with them because then the beams are sprayed with cellular fiber after, and it, and it gets sprayed onto the drywall so that there's a fire rating there. But, <laughs> yeah, essentially, yeah, with columns, you just want to be as tight as possible uh to the to the thing you're 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 uh framing out around and but then you also want them to be similar like close like so that the eyeball can't tell they're different sizes you know uh they could be slightly different like quarter inch half inch whatever but as long as the eyeball can't tell you're good right um yeah and and they only have to go up to the under underneath the first structure basically right like you go uh different heights if you can like on this side here right the beam is lower so I just cut up an inch there. All right, hold on. I got that's that's the guy with the the stuff. Um, but yeah, he's here now. All right, so I gotta wrap it up, guys. I gotta wrap it up because the delivery guy's here. Hey, Lamb. Hey, Lamb. Bert's here with the truck with some stuff. We're gonna help him out, get it out, get it off. Um, but yeah, I'll give you a quick quick show sh tour upstairs. And as we say goodbye, if anyone has any questions, make sure to leave them down below in the comments, guys. Because, you know, everyone knows I get back to almost everybody. Unless it's a stupid question or, like, like something, like, offensive or whatever, then I don't always get back to you. But not, not, not a stupid question, but, like, um, like, like um, a stupid statement or something, you know? Like, I just, like, shake my head sometimes. But uh, anyways, uh, this is the upstairs. All right, so we built that, that vestibule in there and stairwell. Uh, this is the elevator, future possible elevator. And then I figured out this is uh, um, 17 feet high in here, 17 feet. So I need 18 foot studs, so we had to order those today. Um, but yeah, you can see at the top, it slopes upwards, right? So basically when I'm doing my ordering, I, I calculate the footage, right? So say it's 45 feet long, the walls, then I order... 45 studs, right? And then I order, um, like, I, then I need five pieces of track, uh, top track and five pieces of bottom track. Uh, but then you got to take into consideration if there's windows and doors, add, um, add two studs for every window and door um, and a piece of track, right? <laughs> so uh, even maybe a couple pieces of track. But yeah, guys. So I want to wish everybody a, a happy good day. Be safe out there. Uh, I got to go and, and, and help get this truck unloaded. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Good to see everybody. Amos was here today. That's fantastic. Kona man, have a great day. And Dan Courier, man, that's great from Creator Fundamentals. Um, man, I, I'm going to be back online and learning from guys like Dan and, and uh, again here real soon um, once I can get, get my ass um, out of the field here and back into the studio, but guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now guys